there was 600 and some people over the course of my four years who had their sentences affected in any way, shape, or form. I don't care what your ideology, whether you're liberal or conservative, uh, Republican or Democrat, we should want there to be integrity in the system. Former Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin there in that interview defending himself after he made national headlines in December for pardoning hundreds of inmates before leaving office. From convicted sex offenders to murderers, his critics calling it an abuse of power. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Doug Profit. Today, some of his own party made a statement. They won't stand for questionable pardons again, and they're willing to change the Kentucky Constitution to do it. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams has the story of a young girl who played a key role in an effort to make change. Poised beyond her 16 years. My name is Chloe Randall. I am here today in hopes that we can work together to change the law. Comforted sitting next to a family friend, Senator Christian McDaniel. She delivered heartbreaking testimony. As I was raped at the age of 12, Chloe Randall wants her attacker to spend every second of his 75-year sentence behind bars. She fears a governor's pardon. Former Governor Matt Bevin's controversial orders as he left office led to this moment. Senator McDaniel, Senate Bill 58, would prevent pardons in the 30 days before a gubernatorial election and between the election and swearing in. There will be no more hiding in the darkness of the last minutes of an administration. There will be no more allowing the rich and the powerful to influence the scales of justice without recourse from the citizens of the Commonwealth. Opponents testified that this could prevent pardons, create barriers for those who've earned a clean slate. Chloe, poised, listened to their case too. And I got a little emotional today up there and I uh, let out a few tears and I'm like, you know what, we got this. And, and then part of me just shuts the nerves down and I stand up for what I believe in. She believes Governor Bevin's pardon sent a frightening message to survivors and their family. I asked what message she has for others like herself. If you just realize that you have a purpose and there's purpose and there's reasons for this, then you, you have your justice. You've got supporters behind you. you. You may know them, you may not. If this plan clears the Senate and the House, it'll be up to Kentuckians to decide. That's because voters have the final say. It'll be on the fall ballot. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.